Hey guys, Kevin Feely here with the Feely Group at eXp. And every day I'm having conversations with my team, whether it's about the real estate market, how things are going, where they're headed, or about investing. What's the best investment? How do I get into investing? Uh, or even about how do I become successful as a real estate agent? A lot of these questions I found are what my clients, friends, and followers are asking as well. So I decided I'm going to shoot a video every week and help answer some of the questions and talk about what we're talking. So you guys got the inside scoop on what's going on. So if you like the information, please hit the like button below. But more importantly, in the comments, write down what is it that you're curious about. So for the first video, I figured the best place to start is the Ottawa market stats. What's going on in the market? the overall picture, but what's really going on behind the scenes, what you might not be hearing in the media or from other realtors. But first, I want to talk about a special event that happened just this past weekend, and that's the Chio Telethon, where people were able to raise just under $11 million for the kids at Chio. Now, the Feely Group was a matching sponsor, and we were happy and proud to be able to say that we supported $10,000 of that money raised. So whether a family is making a move when they're purchasing their first home, you know, they're moving up to a bigger home, or they're relocating for another reason, they're making this move with the hopes of improving their lifestyle. So what better way for us to give back to our clients and give to the children that need us most at Chio? It's for this reason that every referral given, we make a donation to Chio. So for anyone who doesn't have the money to give, if you know friends or family looking to make a move, just give us a call, we can make a donation in your name. Last year, we donated $25,000, and this year, we're on the mission to $50,000. So I'm gonna put my contact information in the comments below, and just send me a message if you know someone looking to buy or sell and wanna support a great cause. Now, the big question that's on everybody's mind, what is going on with the Ottawa real estate market, and where is it going? So first, I'm gonna go through the stats that show May 2020 over May 2021, when we see the year difference. But then I'm gonna go more specifically on what's happening in the last couple of months and where we see the market going. So overall, year over year, we're seeing a huge increase. So the average price of a home last year in May was $455,000. This year, it's up 35% and it's 616. So we also see the market really heated up with the units sold. This year, we sold 2,900 units in the month of May, as opposed to 1,800 last year. That's a 61% increase. The sold to list price, the average home is selling for 110% of asking price, as opposed to last year where it was 100%. The average price of market has decreased 69% from 36 days to 11. So when looking at the market overall, we've never seen prices so high and it's the hottest it's ever been. But when we start looking at different sectors of the market, like townhomes, stacked homes, and semi-detached homes, we see them all decrease from April to May. If we look closely at say just one neighborhood in the city, the Longfields neighborhood in Barhaven, and we look specifically at townhomes, we can see how supply and demand is changing. Where in January, we saw six homes sell, eight in February, 10 in March, 11 in April, May saw 32 townhomes in that neighborhood sell. The average price dropped in two months from 655 to 607. The price of homes is directly reflected of supply and demand. So in certain types of homes that there aren't much on the market, you're still seeing extremely high numbers, but we're seeing more and more homes come to the market. And it's very important to know exactly what you're looking for and what's available on the market. Because in some areas in the city, we're seeing sellers take advantage of the hot market and all rush to market, in which case supply is starting to increase or match demand. And that's why we're seeing some areas decrease in price. So it's important to know what exactly you're looking for and what the competition is. If you're a buyer who's looking for a home, you need to know exactly what's going on and where the deal is. And if you're a seller, this is important for you because maybe a couple months ago you could have just stuck in a for sale sign in the yard and the home would have gone to multiple offers but that just isn't the case now depending on your type of home so if you guys have any questions related to buying or selling again my contact information is below please give me a call but also any question you guys have don't forget put in those comments and hit that like button thanks for watching